Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah and this is the first episode in a series about making cool platforming mechanics and functionalities using Unity and C Sharp. We'll cover in this series bouncy platforms, moving ones, platforms that float in the water, ladders and more. With that said, to kick off the series, we'll take a look at how to make one-way collision platforms. Now, this is a very popular and common platforming behavior used in games such as Celeste. It's basically platforms that can be jumped on from below. We'll also take a look at how you can, by pressing the down arrow for example, get the platforms to quote unquote let go of you. With that said, let's jump into Unity and get started. So I have a basic scene set up with this little character that can move left, right and jump and a couple platforms. As you can see though, my character is a little stuck. He can't jump on the platforms, he's just banging his head against them. Let's change this. I'll select one of my platforms and add a new component called Platform Effector 2D to it. Immediately I'll check the Use by Effector box on my 2D box collider so the newly added components will function properly. So in the scene view, you'll see this blue semicircle shape and you can tweak its rotation with this setting on the platform effector component. This basically indicates where the platform's collisions will take place. So in this case, no collisions will be detected below the platform, but collisions will be detected from above, which is absolutely perfect for us. Hitting play, I can now jump on this platform and smoothly land on it. Awesome. However, in this case, the player can no longer step down from this platform. What we need to do via script to fix this, though of course this is purely up to you as the game designer, is set the rotational offset to 180 degrees when the down arrow, for example, is held down. So I'll make a new C-sharp script, call it a vertical platform and open it up. I'll start by creating a private variable of type platform effector 2D called effector and in my start function set that equal to the platform effector attached to my platform. In the update function I'll then create an if statement checking whether or not the player is holding down the down arrow. In my case I would like the player to have to hold down the arrow for at least half a second before my platform gives way. So I'll make a float variable called wait time and then inside the if statement make another if statement checking whether or not this wait time value is less or equal to zero. If it is, then I'll set my effector's rotational offset equal to 180 degrees, which will get my platform letting go of the player. I'll also set wait time back equal to 0.5. If, however, I'm holding down the down arrow and my wait time isn't yet less or equal to zero, I'll slowly decrease its value. I'll also make an if statement up here checking whether or not the down arrow has been released using input.getKeyUp. If that's the case, I'll also set wait time back to 0.5. However, if we leave things like this, our player will find himself banging his head against the platform once more, because collisions will only be detected below due to the new rotational offset of 180 degrees. The easy fix is checking when we hit our jump key, which in my case is the up arrow, and setting the rotational offset back to zero. And if I now drag and drop this script onto my one-way collision platform, I'll be able to smoothly hop on it, as well as fall down. Now, one last tip before wrapping up the video. Make sure that the platforms that can be navigated around this way look a little different than the average head-banging platforms. And of course, you don't need to be a great artist to convey that message to the player. For example, simply make your platform thinner, maybe a little transparent. Although I hope 
you enjoyed the video. A pack more from this series will be coming up in the near future, as well as other game dev related topics. So stay tuned, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons, it's so appreciated and encouraging. And with that, I'll see you very soon. Cheers! Thank you.